Hey, this is Mike from Minimal 3DB, and today I'm following up with my line width video. We've had a viewer question regarding line width and dimensional accuracy, and does changing the line width to anything above the 0.4 really change the dimensional accuracy of my objects? So I've printed some objects, so let's go ahead and take a look. This video is brought to you by PCBWay, an awesome prototyping service. I want to thank them for their sponsorship for this video. In order to test dimensional accuracy, what I've done is created a polygon shape here in Tinkercad, just something really quick. This is a polygon that is 40 millimeters by 40 millimeters, so point to point here is 40 millimeters, and from this wall to this wall is 40 millimeters, and then it's 20 millimeters high. So there's a couple different settings I've played around with. And let's switch over to Orca Slicer and take a quick look. Now, in order to run this experiment, I've used my Creality K2 Plus. And mainly I used it because I had some plain PLA already loaded into the CFS system, and that was sort of the easiest to just get things started. As you can see in Orca Slicer, I've loaded my shape in, and I have loaded it and cloned it four times. And the way I dealt with this is this is my base shape, and you can barely see it, but there's a number one on there. And I use the process and then by object function and went through and changed all of the line widths to be 0.4 on number one. And if I scroll down, I've turned off precise wall, and I also turned off precise Z height. So that is the settings for my first model. The number two model, I did the same line widths all set to 0.4, which is my nozzle width. And then I also turned on my precise wall and also the precise C height. So we could just see if there's a difference between the two. Now, number three, I used my new percentages that I did based off my research. And you can also see those in my Clipper calibration spreadsheet. Although at this point, it's also an Orca Slicer calibration spreadsheet. For number three, I also left off precise wall and precise height. So all my odd numbers have precise wall and precise height turned off. And lastly, on number four here, I have precise wall and precise height turned on, and I'm using my new percentages. So I'm going to use this to sort of measure the default accuracy or the dimensional accuracy and just see if there's really any difference between these various settings, particularly with the line widths and the precise wall and precise C height. So this will take a couple minutes to print. And when I slice it, as you can see, it takes about an hour and two minutes to print. So I'll let that print and then come back. Now to start off, I wanna point out two things. I have two sets of calibers here. This is my more expensive set of calibers. I also got this one off Amazon. It was the highest rated one, which is typically how I buy things. But I just wanna point out, I'm not gonna use this caliber because it only goes to one decimal place. I'm going to use my better set here, and I actually went out this morning and bought new batteries for it. This goes to two decimal places, so this should give me better measurements. Now to start off with the calipers, I want to turn it on, make sure I zero it out, make sure this is closed, it's zeroed out, and then we have our first shape, and this is number one. This is with a line width of 0.4 and also precise wall and precise C height turned off. So I'm gonna measure the length first. And that's 39.7. So I wanna put that in my spreadsheet. Next, I'm gonna measure the height. So let's wanna make sure it's zeroed out still. And the height, I'm going to measure this way. Whoops. How am I measuring the height? Oh, there it is. I'm sorry. So measuring the height this way. And I'm getting 
39.99. And let's measure the height. I'm going to close it, make sure it's zeroed out. And I'm getting 20.06. Let's fill in the spreadsheet okay. and let's switch over to our second shape. And this one is the 0.4 line width with precise walls and precise C height turned on. Start with our length. And that's 39.87. Let's do our width, which was going to be point to point. And I'm showing 39.53. Zero this out again. Let's measure this one more time and make sure that was zeroed. Yeah, that's about right. Now let's measure the height. That's 20.02. This video is sponsored by PCBWay, an awesome PCB prototyping service. One of their great features is their instant quote, where you can set the specifications of your PCB board. You can upload a Gerber file and then receive an instant quote. Once you place your order, you then can take a look at their transparency window to take a look at the production status. Under your account, you click production status. With this production transparency, you'll be able to see what the status of your order is, and what's actually going on. So again, I want to thank PCBWay for their sponsorship. And now let's go over to my shapes that have the newest values or my newest line widths. I'm going to start off with the length on number three, and that's 40. Let's do the width. And that's 39.59. And let's do the height. So I'm showing 19 point. Oh, let's see if I can do this a little bit better. 20.16. And lastly, let's do number four. Number four is the one with my new line widths and precise walls and precise C height turned on. I'm still zeroed out here. Let's just open this up. Stick our model in there. And I'm showing 39.92. Let's do our width. Showing 39.54. And let's do our height. Oops. And I'm showing 20.09. So we have all our measurements in there. Now let's, let's look at the spreadsheet a little bit more closely. Now looking at the spreadsheet, what's jumping out at me is none of these settings appear to be making that big a difference. So just looking at this across the board, I'm not really seeing anything here that makes me think, oh, I, I have to be using this setting or not using this setting. And one of the interesting things we might want to look at and in fact, let me switch over and look at that now, is I'd really like to see how much my times are being affected here. Because right now, it, it doesn't appear that this is making much of a difference with the dimensional accuracy of the model. So let's switch over to Work a Slicer and just take another quick look. So I'm just going to do the first model. Let's slice that. And that's saying 17 minutes, 39 seconds. Let's go back here and let's delete this one and want to arrange this. I want to do number two. Number two is slightly quicker. Now, so that's slightly quicker and that has precise, precise walls and precise C height turned on. 
Now let's switch over and we'll take a look at number three and four. So let's delete number one, number two, and we'll arrange the bed. So that's 13 minutes, 18 seconds. So my, my thicker lines is definitely saving me some time, which is great. And let's see what the precise, precise walls and precise C height is doing. So take these two, arrange the bed. So precise walls and precise C height really isn't making any time difference here, but I am seeing a time difference with my wind width. So again, looking at that spreadsheet, I think we can argue that nothing here is making that big a difference. I mean, that they're slightly off in measurements, but I sort of expect that. And none of these look like they're dead on. So I feel all right with leaving precise walls on, leaving precise C height on, and then also leaving on my thicker line widths. Now I will point out that the Z height is more accurate when I have Z height turned on, or only slightly so. Now to do an official experiment, I'd have to do probably 10 or 15 different copies of this. I'm not going to, but just Looking at the eyeball test, I feel very comfortable with those thicker line widths. Hopefully you found that helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below.